you know. I see this a lot with relationships. Because I ain't been in a few, okay? But the main thing I've seen where a lot of people think that love and loyalty is enough in a relationship. We live in 2022. A lot of kids of the age of 16, 17, 18, 21, and on up, they are already building their life. They're already changing, evolving, growing spiritually, emotionally, financially. They are really building generational wealth, okay? So you take a person that's on their stuff and you get with a person that don't have dreams, that don't have a self-drive, but they only have love and loyalty. It sound good on paper because they gonna hold you down, but they can't help you because they, they are not in the same world that you in. And I know this might sound wrong or, 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 or bad because you can build a person up, but they have to be open to the change. And that's all I'm saying. Most people are not even open to the change. They don't even wanna grow. They don't even want to evolve because they feel like the only thing they have to offer is the love and the loyalty. Many of us in relationships, we've never received the type of drive. We might receive the love, but I feel like love is still what I'm talking about, that, that, that dream state, that, that ambition, that drive. Okay, bae, get up. We finna, we finna meditate. Okay, bae, get up. We finna um, run over here and we, we gonna do this. We gonna learn this. Let's read this. Like that, that, that's love to me. Like you wanna see your partner grow. You wanna see your partner evolve. Me and my partner, we can never stay the same because I, I can't see myself staying the same. When, when we're in a relationship, we are as one. We are a one unit. Yes, we have different lives. We have different perspectives. But we are in a relationship. I hope y'all know the energies become one. Their problems become yours. Yours become theirs. Their insecurities become yours. Yours become theirs. So meaning you need someone to understand you and be able to offer more than love and loyalty. There's plenty of women out here that are love and have loyalty. There's plenty of men out here that are love you and have loyalty. Many guys and many women out here have low self-esteem, so that's the only thing they feel like they have to offer. But when you're a millionaire, when you're a boss, when you're an entrepreneur, you know you got to go get it. And sometimes you ain't always got that fire, so you know your partner got to be able to help you. When your torch is out, she got to be able to come behind you and shine that fucking torch. When, 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 when his torch is out, he got to be able to come behind you. Damn, this shit crazy, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, like, they got to be able to help you, bro. That's, that's all I'm saying. Because you out here grinding, sweating. I mean, you really genuinely won't change in your life. And, and, and you settling for a person that always want to come home and argue. And they, they just small-minded. But they want an entrepreneur. They want a million dollar man. They want a million dollar woman. They want the baddest woman, but don't know how to keep a bad woman up. They don't know how to keep a million dollar man up. It's crazy. Like, why is it hard to find genuine deep love? Like, I like to evolve. I like to change, bro. I like to learn. It's crazy. But, yo, this is the video. Your boy got more videos coming soon. I hope y'all fuck with this one. You know what I'm saying? I got kind of heated, but, hey, this is Jack's journey, man. We be learning, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. And I'm out. Peace.